Diallo. Through the center. He's patching again. Patching. Just noticed that Shane McElhinney had drifted into an area. Great ball forward to Danny Mullen. Yeah. And then it falls to Jordan McAniff, but he was Thank just leaning sideways Thank and couldn't quite connect I properly. Think, Colin, that's what we have to do. I know it's great. We have 12, 14 passes in the opposition half, but there we had it, Shane McElhinney. One pass, Mullen makes a great run, and we're nearly on a goal and a shot and target. So, yep. um, it's a f as, as I said earlier, it's vital that people run be behind and break lines because that's the hardest part of the game. I'd like to see um, Mullen in a more forward position as well, Kevin, because I think he's sort of he's coming out uh, wide more, uh, and it's not giving Derry that outlet forward. Absolutely, um, I think that's important whenever Shane's on the ball, he's making that second strike a run off um, Kavanagh, and him have to just keep moving and play as a two up there at times as well. As Kieran's giving us a whip here, so he has a license to go inside and try and get goals like Kieran uh, Colt. Sorry, big cross. Sorry, it was Patrick Hickey who was just yeah. coming on to make sure that Jordan McAniff yeah. could get nothing on it. And Enda Minogue eventually just gathers the ball into his chest. You can just see from the replay. There's a ball from McJanet out to Cole. Cole had one thing on his mind, get the ball into the box as early as possible. Great cross too, isn't it? Yeah. Camped on again, though. Break it down as he can. can. So, listen, it's better from Mullen, though. Um, 1v1 player, and he's, he's getting at your man, and he's, he's created a half a chance there, just a cutback to cut out for us. Jordan McAniff with a reverse pass onto Brandon Kavnat. Brandon Kavnat, yeah. he's bundled over, and immediately... The referee, Oliver Moore, points to the spot. Yep. Patching converts here. Patching steps up. It's going to be the right foot. Patching does a wee shimmy. Does a dummy. Sells it to Andy Minogue. Puts the ball beyond the Athlone keeper. First blood to Derry City in the 23rd minute. 1-0 via the Will Patching penalty. Nehemi Lamchuki from Paris, France. The 24-year-old. Facing down Ronan Boyce. Stabs it back to Pepper. Pepper continues his run, does well to get his cross under the box. Piero. Piero gets his shot away again. He just leaned in well behind Cameron McJanet. Just as he was leaning back, Kevin, he couldn't get the laces behind it enough to keep the ball down. As I said, we're just touching on it there. Some, some real good play there, no it's a decent cross under the box there. I'm jokingly here, but I would like to know who's doing the scouting for Athlone because they've, nice they've recruited very well. I've been very impressed. break out of the comfort zone here and try and try and drive this wee performance on a wee bit because it's been a little bit flat here in the first three minutes. Well, Dan McKenna was very alert to that ball forward as Piero gets beyond Shane McLeaney. Gets nice. shifts on his right foot, gets his shot away. Yeah, this, lads. And well, it's Piero, wide. Piero is a handful. Like, so for me, Derry need to, Derry need to have... A, conversations amongst the group here because they're, they're certainly haven't come out here in the second half and he's, everything's he's too slow and predictable what he's doing there Kevin is what you would expect Key and Kevin yeah, to be doing like throwing boys all over the place and you know, they'd be fair to the, the two Derry City centre backs are the match he's holding it up well exactly and when he, when he four or five players here today that are, that are a better level than I've seen in the championship Diallo clever ball over the top for Key and Kavanagh Kavanagh shifts onto his left foot loses his boot in the process and Brandon Kavanagh just trying to slip it under the body of Enda Minogue best opportunity of the second half so far in the 56th minute it's just unfortunate that Key and Kavanagh lost a boot I did, think he just lost he his balance as well penalty, maybe? just there yeah. you just see his oh. boot coming off Kavanagh and Duffy Duffy breaking in Chance. finds Patrick McElhinney McElhinney oh Brandon Kavanagh he just doesn't quite see that McKenna was behind him and Derry City draw the groans from the crowds as they seek another goal. Patrick finds Brandon Kavna. Brandon Kavna with the left foot eventually puts it beyond the outreached arm of Enda Manouk, who has done so well during the second That's half such a so far. And in the 93rd minute, Brandon Kavna makes it Derry City 2, Athlone Town 0. Gets, gets in the road, gives the ball away 15 seconds later. Next time he gets it. Shows a tremendous turn and finishes it well, but shows you 15 seconds, giving the ball away and then gets it back. Makes amends for his mistake, yeah. Well, it was Patrick McElhinney who whooped the ball across and fell to Brandon Kavanagh. And first touch, you know, Brandon Kavanagh. That's so many times. Paul McMullen. McMullen unselfishly plays it to the back post where Jamie McGonagall awaits. He's immediately closed down by Van Geenen. Rolls it under the path of Duffy. Dumb again. Finds Patrick McElhinney. The captain, back on the Michael Duffy, and Michael Duffy makes no mistake. You do not afford Michael Duffy yards like that inside the 18-yard box. 
It's Derry City 3, Athlone Town 0. Game set and match to the candy strips. Two of the best players linking up and, and uh, brilliant from Patrick. Gets a ball, everyone thinks he's going to get out of his feet and shot. He just reversed a lovely ball to Mickey. Jim McGonagall yeah. done very well brilliant as well. Brilliant, and he reverses Kevin. a great ball here. Colin, this is the most impressive, but Michael times his run, reverses it inside, gives it back. Look at this. Patrick, everyone thinks he's going to shift nearly game over. Sees Mickey out the corner of his eye, boom, we dink ball. Brilliant Duffy header knew exactly finish, where yeah. he wanted to direct that header. Probably about Hurst and Athlone over, being totally honest, but um, last two minutes there, I've scored two goals, so... Under the, under the next round, three 0 What a spectacle it's been, Colin. <laughs> I'm just uh, looking at Liam Coyle. Oh, he says four 0 He says four. So. We counted him out. Three. Well, Coyle. Uh, last finish three. Derry City scoring in the first half through Walt Patching's penalty in the 23rd minute. It took another 70 before Derry found the net again through Brandon Cavanagh. And then Michael Duffy, who came on as a second-half substitute, made it 3-0 a minute later, putting the tie beyond the reach of Athlone Town. So Derry City will go into the hat for the next round. It's finished here at the Brandywell. Derry City 3, Athlone Town 0.